Hello everybody, it's MMFQ Death here, and it has been quite a while since I've been on the tutorial scene for you guys, but I figured I'd go ahead and throw this uh, together for you guys. Really quick video uh, compared to some of my other tutorials, but I'm going to show you guys the best render settings for Adobe Premiere Pro. This should work for CS5 through CS6, so keep that in mind. We're going to be creating a new project today, and I am going to be using the video rendering with GPU acceleration. This will only work for NVIDIA users. AMD is not supported by Adobe, so they do not have an OpenCL acceleration. Um, software only just means your CPU. If this is grayed out for you and you do have an NVIDIA card, you can look up a tutorial on how to set up GPU acceleration, but I will not be covering that. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Uh, yes, confirm the overwrite if you've already made an untitled project before. Now, I already have two default settings here for YouTube 720 and YouTube 1080p, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make these. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to just go ahead and click on any random thing in here. It doesn't matter what you do. Um, it could be this, 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 whatever you want, because we're going to be changing all of the settings and saving it as a new preset anyway. So go ahead and let's just for the sake of this go under DVC Pro HD 720p and then the first preset at 24 frames. Go into settings. Now editing mode, you're going to actually change this to be custom and then time base is going to be your FPS. Now some people prefer to edit in 29.97 or 30. I use 30, it honestly doesn't matter. They're both about the same, but I would not recommend any more because it's just going to create unneeded file size because YouTube restricts any videos over 30 FPS to only show at 30 FPS. So there's no real reason to go anything above this. And this, you won't notice any lag. It just saves a couple megabytes in file size. And if you're recording that, you might as well use it. Like I said, for me, I'm not going to. Now, the frame size. This, of course, if you're going to be doing 720, is going to be 1280 by 720. And if you are going to be doing um, 1080, this would be 1920, and this would be 1080. So the pixel aspect ratio is going to be square pixels 1.0. That's what you want unless you're producing like a Hollywood styled movie. You're going to want square pixels. Fields, no fields, progressive scan. Display format 30 FPS. Change your audio sample rate to 44100 Hertz. Most professional microphones will record at this anyway and are not recommended to go anything above this, such as my Blue Yeti. This is the preferred audio setting. Um, and video previews, you can set this to anything you want. It's just what the preview is going to render in, and I just leave mine at AVI because it doesn't matter. Same with codec, but we're going to render at maximum bit depth, and that is highly memory intensive, so keep that in mind, and render maximum render quality. Again, highly, highly memory intensive, so keep that in mind. And then you can go ahead and name your sequence and hit OK. I'm going to use my 720p preset because it's the exact same thing as what I just showed. I just don't want to save it again. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK and create the sequence. So now that you see we have a sequence here, and you'll see the sequence here. Uh, my Premiere may look differently styled to yours, but keep in mind I just moved certain things around. I believe this is down here originally, and this is shorter, and this is over here. But all of these are the same boxes. So just look for your project um, tab, which again should be down here in this area. And there should be a sequence, 01 or whatever you named your sequence, and you can see the sequence settings by hovering over it. So now we're going to go ahead and grab some random file. So now we have a video in here. You can import it by just dragging and dropping, and we are going to go add this to our timeline right here. So by dragging it from our project bin onto here, you will now have the tracks displayed, but this is not a how to use Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, but... Uh, best render setting. So let's go ahead and go to file and then export media or the shortcut is control M if you would rather do that. Now the reason why I'd add this is because there must be something on the timeline so that you can configure render settings. Now in render settings under export settings. All right, so format you're going to want to check H.264 and give that a second to load up and then your preset again I have a custom one but you do not need to do that because we're going to be changing it. But I would recommend as a starting point to click this down arrow until you see either, again, if you're in 1080 HD 1080p 2997, or if you're in 720, choose the HD 720p 29.97 preset. Click that. You can change the output name by clicking on this and naming it whatever you want. And then let's go ahead and change the rest of the things here. So 
under video is where you're going to find most of the settings like frame rate if you are using 2997 just keep that the same for me i'd be using 30 so i'm going to change that the progressive is already there and aspect is already under square pixels so you don't need to change that now the profile you're going to want to switch to high it may seem like you don't you do and go ahead and leave the level at 3.2 which is the default again um if you want better render quality render at maximum depth it just means that the bits in the video will actually be um i'm trying to think <laughs> more uh realistic so there's really no reason you're not going to really notice anything but you may as well do it i mean you don't have to but it's the best settings so nothing else under video that you need to change so then let's go ahead and click the audio tab um, if you have a different audio codec that you'd like to use, you can go ahead and change this. Or if you want to use plus version one and plus version two, go ahead. I'm going to leave mine at AAC. Sample rate at 44100 and channel stereo. That should be stereo. You can also do 5.1. It uh, doesn't matter. Audio quality is high and bit rate settings. I am going to change mine to 128 because there's no real reason for unneeded file size, really. The audio quality will be... Almost exactly the same with 128, but you can use 192 if your microphone or audio quality that you're using supports that high of a bit rate. But again, for me, there's no reason to. So now you're done. You can go ahead and name the preset by clicking here under save preset, and it'll bring up a little thing to save it, but I don't need to do that. All you need to do is click use maximum render quality and use frame blending. I suggest this. You don't have to. And then Premiere will go ahead and tell you right here the estimated file size after the render. Now you can either queue it in Adobe Media Encoder and keep all of your settings in the same sequence settings that you already have here, or you can just directly export it out of Premiere. And if you export it, it will obviously come up with a little bar telling you how long the render will take. But that is it for the render settings for Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you all enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please leave a like down below. It helps other people to see the video and it enables me to help other people. So again, this has been MMFQDeath. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.